tip, Johnny. Looking forward to it. Thanks. All right, speaking of getting back at it, right? Southern University officials prepping for another big move in day today for students. Look, Monday was busy as right. hundreds moved in. Today, expected to be just the same. Hundreds more expected today. In fact, we find Callie Hubbard live on the bluff. She's on campus there as families are moving in behind you. Callie, which dorm are you at right now? Good morning to you, Mountain Liz. We are live inside of Shade Hall this morning. As you can see, things picking up behind us here. We have families, moms and dads, and students rolling in all the items for back to class. A lot of students, you said hundreds of students expected. I think just under 400 to come into Shade Hall today. We have Courtney Turner telling us more about it. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you so much for being with us here this morning. Of course, it's day two of move in, so we're just excited to be welcoming students back here on the bluff this morning. Yeah, lots of action packed things <laughs> happening here. What do you want families and students to know as they come back onto campus today? Uh, we just, just want them to know, you know, Everything's kicking off today. Of course, Welcome Week starts tomorrow. Then first day classes is on Monday. So everyone's pretty much just getting settled in uh, this week and getting excited for those first day of classes. And of course, we want of course all the students to know that you know faculty and staff are here to help for whatever you may need. We have the one-stop shop registration uh, kicking off again today. It started yesterday, but that will be in the student union from eight to seven. So you pretty much have all day if you still need to get your parking pass for the upcoming school year. If you need to talk with financial aid, uh, anything with your classes. So it's a lot of options that will be there um, if you need to get anything handled. Yeah, organizations too on campus helping give out waters because it is hot outside. We were outside for the last, you know, hour and a half or so and we already started to feel the heat. Oh yes, absolutely. And it's best to get here early. Um, I know um, Ms. Tracy, who you talked with last half hour, they have the different shifts. Um, so today's, uh, they have six to 10 and then they have 11 to two. But uh, most families uh, have been getting here pretty early so they can pretty much beat the heat. If, of course, it's still humid outside, but they, like you just said, they have different organizations coming out uh, to help that move-in process and, of course, give out waters and I'll just, talk to, just talk to especially those incoming freshmen just to give them some advice of those students who've already, you know, had their first year experience or maybe upper class, classmen just to, uh, just to lend a helping hand. Courtney, thank you so much for that. You can see the family's trying to pack on the elevator. I don't know if you guys remember that. When it goes back to college, one of those things that you just, you don't really look forward to, but it's an exciting year ahead, Mountainless. Day two of moving over on the bluff. Callie, thank you.